So in this lesson, we're just going to look at making sure that we can get to each of the pages or each of the scenes that we've set up. So first off, let's make it visual so we actually see what we've done. So let's put another node in. So if we come up to, well, I'm on the home scene, and I'm going to press the plus button. Now the node we want is some kind of label. We're on the right page so that we, we work out if our navigation is actually working, okay? So let's just add this rich text label. So double click on it, rich text label, and then under the text menu, which is down here somewhere, there it is, text, just write home page home scene even okay press enter and it will update it over there now it generally doesn't come out very big but then we don't need it to be we just need it to, to show up so we know that we're on the home scene now let's do the same with the info scene so hit the plus button now the node is already here so rich text editor so rich text labels double click on that and then come down to where it says text and change this to info scene press enter Let's make it bigger by using these handles. And then finally, let's do this on the play scene as well. So click on the plus button and rich text editor, double click, text, and we're gonna say play scene. Okay, press enter. So now, when we come to any of these scenes, we'll know exactly which page we're on to make sure that the navigation is working. So let's save all scenes. So there we go, we saved all scenes. Now let's head back to the master scene. So we're going to set our script up on the master scene. Now we could set it up on each of these individual buttons and that would be free scripts. But they are so similar, we're going to set it up on the actual master node itself. Okay, and we're going to press this little script button. And we're going to, we're going to make sure we save this script to the scripts folder. Okay, so at the moment it's saved in the scenes folder. So click on this folder icon. And then we want to go up a page using this arrow. And then we want to go to scripts. And we can call it master, master script or we can call it button script or let's just call it master scene script. Okay, so it just makes it a bit more obvious that this is on the master scene and it's a script. Okay, so we're in the right area, we've got the right name, press save. Um, make sure everything else is okay. So we've got we're using GD script, which is very similar to Python. Um, we're doing it on a 2D node, and we can press create. So we've got loads of information here. This extend 2D is basically our importer. Um, we don't need any of these comments. Um, we can keep the ready function, but we don't need this. And I think we're just going to put our playhead on number seven here. Now, we're going to do something a bit interesting here. So if we select the home button and then come down to where it says node, we're going to put a signal on to this button. So it's going to link to this script um, using this pressed command. So we're on the home button, we've got a script set up, and we're going to double click on this pressed command, and it's going to say to us, right, what do we want to do? And it's on the master scene, it's on the home button, so we press connect. So now we have this home button function, if you like, okay? It's on the master script, exactly the same way as we set it up, but now we need to pass in a command. So our first bit of script, and here we go. So the command that we want it to be is get and it's get tree so get tree is basically a way of saying right we want to move somewhere we want to get something that's in our kind of structure so get tree um, it, if you click it once it kind of moves so just make sure you click it once and then click it again and it says get underscore tree open close brackets and then we say dot and the next command that we want to do is we want to change scene so start by saying change Select the change scene, and now we need to put, oops, now we need to put some speech marks in and close the bracket. So in between these speech marks, these double speech marks, we need to get the path of where we want it to go to. Now we know it's the home button, so the path that we want is the home scene. So here's the master, here's the home. If we right click on the home scene, and we go to copy path, 
we can click up here and we can right click again and we can paste. Now we have the path in there and that gives us our first button. Great, so let's move on a little bit. So this is one script here, we don't need anything. Please note the indenting as well. Indenting is very important in both Python and GD script. So the next one, we need to create, say, an info button. So if we click on the info button here in our master scene, and then come down to nodes and then signals, and then it's this press command. So double click on the press command. So we're on the master scene, we've got the info button selected, and we press connect. Once again, it's created this function for us. So before we put our next bit in, let's just go ahead of time and let's just do the next bit, okay? So let's go play button, node, signals, pressed, double click, make sure it's on the play button, make sure it's in the master scene, press collect, connect, and now we are ready with all three of our buttons. So what we can do is we can just copy this, control C, and then paste it before the pass, just like so. And then do the same here, Control V to paste it. Now we just need to change this destination, okay, or this path. So, pop quiz, what do we want the path to be for this one here? So it's info button, so the path will be info scene. So click on the info scene, right click, and we say copy path. Then up here, paste path or Control V. And then let's do the same here. So this one is the play button. So we want to go to the play scene, right click, copy path, and then paste. Okay, so now we need to save all of our work. So let's just press the save all scenes. Let's head back. So we've got our, we've got our scene set up. So we're up in the scripts here, but we can come out of this now and we can test it. So press the play button. And all being well, we are on the home scene, okay? So we've fed in the master scene, we're on the home scene. If I click the home button, surprise, surprise, nothing happens. But if I click the info button, it works. Home, info, and play. So we now have a working app. Not a very interesting working app, but it is a working app. We've scripted it, we've connected it and everything works so we can add more sprites of all our logos and our images um, which we'll do in the next one but at the moment we can give ourselves a pat on the back because we've got an app working